about the hooded eyes. What about the hooded eyes? For context, I made a video about blending eyeshadow that went viral and I had so many people asking me how to blend eyeshadow for hooded eyes. One thing I have to say about this is that if you're a hooded eyes gal or guy and you want your makeup to stop looking like this, you should stop saying I have hooded eyes. You should stop seeing your hooded eyes as a problem because it's not. They're not a problem. There are so many types of hooded eyes and I cannot fit a, a tutorial for every variant of a hooded eye in this video so let me give you this tip. When doing your eyeshadow, relax your eyes, look straight in the mirror and just simply decide how you want your eyeshadow to look when your eyes are open and relaxed. I'm gonna show you how so pay attention. When I'm looking in front of me I want to see a light wash of a brownish eyeshadow that goes like this into my brows and into my nose. And I want to see the start of a cut crease right there. I want a smoky liner that goes out. To make this pretty, I'm gonna fill up with black in the corners, then blend that black with this gorgeous color, blend the liner with that gorgeous color, and bring the color slightly upwards as if you're going to connect these two lines. Fill in that gap with a shimmer in the tones of the other eyeshadows. You can also bring it a little upwards if you want to. And grab a lighter shimmer to apply a spotlight right in the center of your eyelid. The same colors you use on top, you're gonna use on your bottom lash line. Because of your hooded eyes, you can actually get away with not wearing an eyeliner. But if you are wearing a liner, make sure it's super thin. Add half lashes because these are going to open up your eyes so much more. Add some pearls to adorn your beautiful hooded eyes. And forget about the rules because your hooded eyes are awesome and you can wear your makeup however you want to. So majority of you usually ask me, why did you look up whenever you were trying to cut your crease? So I decided to go ahead and show you guys how to cut your crease if you have hooded eyes. So having a hooded eye just means that whenever you look up, your eyelids roll all the way in. Now for me, mine roll all the way in to the point where you can actually see that it looks like I already did a cut crease, but I didn't do a cut crease. So if you have a hooded eye like I do, the best way for you to cut your crease is to take some of your cut crease product. So I'll be using the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime in the shade number two. I'm gonna take a little bit of my product. I place it on my eyelid as close to my lash line as possible, and then I look up. Now whenever I look up, what this mark is, is where you can cut your crease if you don't want your shimmer shade or whatever you're putting down to show. If you want whatever you're putting down to show, for me, because I want it to appear as if I have a bigger eyelid space than I generally have, I like to go ahead and cut above that mark. So this mark here is the mark of when I look up, that's where my eyelids will stop. The second mark that I make is where I'm actually going to cut my crease. So as you can see, this crease is cut whenever I look up at you. You can see a little bit of that eye prep eye prime, which is telling you that whenever I look up at you after my eyeshadow is done, you're still gonna see some of that eyeshadow. Now let me show you what it's gonna look like when you don't cut above where your crease mark goes. So here's the difference. When you cut exactly where your crease mark stops, your cut creases are gonna look like this when you're looking up at someone. When you cut above your crease mark, your cut creases look like you have extra, and I mean extra, eyelid space. So this is what it looks like when you cut your crease above the mark. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried this or if you're gonna try it. Bye.